Hello there everyone, my name is Zay Red and welcome back to Welcome back to another Mortal Kombat Tower. Today we're gonna be playing as someone who went from villain to hero. Dramatic. And we're gonna be starting off in spectral form. By the way, this is gonna be the worst one just right off the bat. Don't expect anything good out of this because this is going to be terrible. Because unlike Reptile, I practiced a little bit with I'm going into this straight after the Reptile video, so I haven't any time to practice with Mac. So the last time I played as him was probably the last time I actually went through to unlock a bunch of his stuff. Ermac. Excuse me? You will die for eating Melina. You will die for not. Round one. Fight. He she does have a point. Within canon, Melina is technically your sister. If you don't believe me, who's the person responsible for both their actually no never mind? In the original timeline, that makes more sense because it was just Shao Kahn who created her. Unlike in this one, where it was Shang Tsung. Okay, fine. God, I forget what I need to do to do that. There we go. It's that thing Ermac always does to you. But anyway, er Ermac. Error Macro, a collection of souls made by Shao Kahn. The original game, he was, as I just said there, Error Macro only. In later games, he would take on a newer appearance, I mean, um, a new design and everything else. Round two. In fact, one of the interesting things is that after Shao Kahn does, I mean, go away in Mortal Kombat, I think, 3, he actually finds a new purpose. I mean, he actually does get a new purpose and everything like that. Thanks to Kenshi. And in order to be grateful to Kenshi, he actually does perform the I mean, teaching the Teleconnect Slam. Unlike at this timeline where he just knows it. Which I do kind of like and dislike at the same time. Just because it gives him a connection to a character I really, really like. Okay, then it's Wow, first try. We are many. You are but one. <laughs> oh my god. I have to try and get that brutality again. Because one of the cool things that Ermac will do is that he will say if you do that fatality with um I mean if you do a brutality on um Ferator and you have him say that, he'll say, We are many, you are but two. There's also another cool one where if you have um, him fighting against another one, he'll say, we are many, we are many more. And after that, he'll say something really fast, and then by X. We are many. We are many more. We are many more, but infinity times infinity, no Max. Round one, fight. Oh, hi. Tremble before Urmak. Let's teach you some Ur manners. Round one, fight. Though I also do have to admit, one of the cool things about Ermac is that he actually does try to redeem himself in later games. Which I always did find cool, that he actually was one of the ones who actually did win from being evil to good. Scorpions was always one of the ones who was more questionable, but Ermac was strictly evil to begin with. Round two. Fight. Which I do have to admit does make me hope he does return so we can actually see some of that in him. Even though to be fair, technically he is because in this game he's not a villain technically. I guess for the last sake of the last story, he technically becomes a villain. In the last chapter since they're against since basically friends bring the head to appease um shin off. Got a thing for punishment. No, that seems to be you. All right, let me see something. Oh. Also, another cool thing is that um, a cool Easter egg to Ermac exists in Mortal Kombat 2, where if, I do believe if you beat um story mode, it'll have something on there about him, and it's basically Ermac does not exist. A reference to uh, Mortal Kombat 1, or um, Jade will say Ermac Koo. It's actually really nice. 
And then because Mortal Kombat likes mm -hmm. turning rumors to yeah. reality, and Mortal Kombat Fatality. 3 became his own character. But um, anyway, to get to you on the story, he later um combines. I mean, basically, because Liu Kang died in the Deadly Alliance, and Sang Sung souls were separated from him later on. And I can't remember the name of the game. Deception, I think it is. He actually does find Liu Kang's soul. And he merges with him to try to get help. I mean, get him back together with his body. Or get him attached to another one, I think. But I they never do that. Of combat. And he, and Nom again, he actually does man, die alongside no. the Warriors of Good. You which to me is really cool, again, man, because... Fight. I love red is my favorite color. The season fact of um the red ninja was the one who went from the road of villain is actually really cool in my opinion. Another thing is they were actually originally gonna make him the teacher of um Kenshi. Which you know what? I really would have liked that. It gives them something to do, gives Kit, but they decide to change them when they want him to be kind of like a lone sword. Leader. And just be, have it switch to me, and that he trained to use a kinetic slam. Round two, fight! Alright. No, you don't. Oh, I did it earlier. Okay, not time for the. T okay, we've done that one. Now let's do the more gruesome one. Ooh. And it's gone. Herman wins. Fatality. I love I love doing that for some reason. I don't even know why. But anyway, it's time to say goodbye to the classic one, which again looks better than reptiles. Ooh, time to add you to my souls. This time we're gonna go for Master of Souls, which actually does make sense use the since they're the costume I'm wearing. Round one, fight. Battle Ermac. Which I like this, I like this one too. Okay, Ermac now has a stun move, which to be fair, I think every ninja has something that can hold their one in place for at least a second or two. Even the cyborg ones hold through that design mentality. <laughs> I literally ran into that. I live again. Oh my god. <laughs> Round two. Fight. Okay, come on. Yes. No, you don't. Come on. Okay, I thought that was the one that makes him invincible for a second. Okay, what else do I have? Oh, wait a minute, this just hit me. Huh. I thought the brutality- I thought he had rap brutality, something like that. If he does, I wouldn't remember it because, again, barely plays on that. You can't win. Even if we die, we come back again. You know what? You can live. Okay, that's hurt twice as bad as that middle thing is going into his head.
translation, mm -hmm. bow down to the king. I'm just kidding, I have no idea what that translates to. I would like to imagine if Ermac was to become the next Khan. Which, to be fair, that would make him Ermac Khan. Because Khan is a title in that world, so... I would imagine more something like that. Teeth and claws fail against us. Round one, fight! But apparently cybernetic arms don't. I fought your kind before! Or at least someone with the same powers as you. <laughs> Round two, fight. Don't take me lightly. By that I mean, Ermac, I kind of suck. All right. No, you don't. No. You know what? I'm not letting you go. So I gotta admit, Ermac is a character I kind of hope has a lot more dumb than the next game. Because in this game, he's just kind of there. He's one of the villains in the background who you're gonna beat up. Which, considering the, amount of, the high amount of power he has, is kind of insulting. I also do have to admit, though, since I hope him and New I hope they do return tag team mode back to the game, because I like using certain teams in that in that game. I mean, in the last I mean, MK9. Sorry, and one of my favorite ones to do was actually Ermac and New Cybot. I do not fear your power. Then you are a fool. Let us begin. Round one, fight. Let us see which ninja is the better one. Let's see which former ninja is better. Actually, you know the funny thing is, I know, I know that technically the whole world thinks of that being his pre. I mean, um. Is, I know that I will believe Melina was the... Um, God, I'm so sorry for spending my words here. I know that when in Mortal Kombat, people believe that Melina is technically um, Shao Kahn's child until Reptile here reveals that that's not true. But you want to know what the real problem is? Technically, Ermac is his kid. I know I did this earlier, but Ermac is technically his kid. Ermac has the most right to the throne because of that. And because he's the oldest in this timeline, seriously. Especially what we know about him from Mortal Kombat 9 and what's going to be confirmed about one of the souls of the side of him. He has the soul of King Jarek inside of him. Katana's father is actually inside of Ermac. That's actually a thing that would be cool to actually elaborate on that, considering the fact that developers and everyone else have confirmed it. But well, unfortunately, we never get anything from it. Looks like I am the better Ermac ninja. Alright, we're gonna do... I gotta switch out two more times because I wanna show off one more costume and I wanna show off my favorite costume after that. All right. Now this one actually does look awesome. You create fear. Round one. I believe this Five. is the one he wore during MK3. Either it's a recreation of um, or it might be a mixture of both of them. 
I can't remember entirely, but we are in Mystic Variation now. Which again doesn't mean nothing because I still haven't practiced this guy that much. Despite the fact that I'm actually doing decent with him. I guess is as good as mine. Alright. Come on. Go. Come on. Let's do this. I can't capitalize on the crap on moves like that. Cause, uh, cause while I should be capitalizing on it, I'm more, I'm more amazed I even got him to begin with. Okay, I know this is instant. I know this is messed up to think about, but I oh my god, that looked weird. I just sort of just popped out for a second there. I would honestly like to imagine that Ermac is taking a selfie picture while when he does that. I don't know why, but that's just always been what pops in my head. Oh my god, this is actually kind of again, this is messed up. If I actually had the Dark Emperor costume, this be a messed up alternate universe. Ask my forbearance. We do not grovel. Then you will end. Round one. Ironically though, because of how the timeline has changed, he was around in MK1 and got beaten by Liu Kang. If it was search correct, he beat Ermac and after that went on to fight Goro. But again, some of that is a new canon because even though to be fair, Ermac shouldn't be able to be beaten. Because of his abilities alone are too powerful. It's kind of like how sometimes stuff is too powerful within the universe. Like, um, New Smoke, for example. Within the games, there are reasons on why they can't. I mean, they thought they couldn't use Tobias' name. And the next game, they found they could. And so, New Cybot was brought back. I find it funny though because in a couple if this was the original timeline, a couple games, these two would be inseparable. He'd be dead, needing a body to help him out. And Ermac, trying to be a good guy now, would have just went, okay, I got you back, buddy. Sorry, the king, but I had to do it. Ermac wins. Fatality. All right, one more fight left to go. Now then, time for my favorite costume. And you'll be seeing this make a return again very soon. Ermac! Feel the wrath of Shao Kahn! I am ready! Round one, fight! But before I do this, and before I talk about how this costume looks for about a good second, let's see, just because I don't have We Win, Okay, yeah, that's not happening. The 
apparently this is my survival. Okay, maybe it is. What you gotta do is um do that um slam I just did and you have to um, make that your final hit. In a five hit combo. So that's a good way of saying telling me that yeah, that's not happening. That requires me to somehow be able to do a five hit combo with that and to be fair my playing skills at this game aren't the best. I'm not even gonna deny it. You know, the last time I said something like that. Yep, knew it. You know what? You live. No, seriously, this is one costume where, where you get to forget the gear system. I hope this is set up here in the game. And I do hope there's one for like... I hope there's one for every ninja. Ermac wins. You may eat him now. All right. Now time for everyone's favorite douchebag. Come to pledge your service. We serve Outworld. For now. Round one, fight. Well, that didn't take long. Well, he got the first hit in, but he got everything else. And I'm evening it out. You there. No. Ah, so close. Embrace the darkness. Round two. This is a kingdom hearts. And even then I'm not playing that right now. Take the place of what Luke Kang did. <laughs> Round three, fight. Oh God! So that's what that feels like. Okay, come on. Look, I'm not letting you win. Oh, come on. Dead to all. Shinnok wins. Um, and then Corona reversed this fight, so I win. <laughs>
Okay. Round two. Fight. That's why I should say every time I lose. Corona, reverse time for me. I don't know how I was letting that go on that long. Wow, that was actually kind of bad on his part. He could have just honestly hit me at any given point there and didn't. Again, why am I talking bad about someone who ultimately just gave me a chance? You know, the very enemy I'm fighting. Come here! Oh god, you remember who he is. You remember who he is. Yes! Oh, hot! Spectre kick! <laughs> Spectre stomp! <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna lie, I don't actually remember what Ermac's ending is. Let me see what it is. Alone once more, Ermac searched the labyrinthine corridors of Shao Kahn's old fortress, searching for the source of a faint voice calling to him. Suddenly, a wisp of dust brushed his chest, wrenching free one of his many souls. The dust took the form of a man who began to consume soul after soul. As the weakened Ermac stared helplessly, he recognized the mysterious figure, the sorcerer Shang Tsung, returned from death. Okay, now that would be another one to be really cool. That plus, since Quan Chi is dead, we need a we technically need a new sorcerer. We need a we need we do in all honesty. Because sorcerers are no are one of the big things in Mortal Kombat. We've had them since literally the first game. So he really is he really should be in the game, thankfully. I hope he does return, hopefully as a character, not as DLC. But I'd be cool with either. Okay, I don't remember when I got that brutality, but I'm grateful I got it. But anyway, everyone, I do believe that's just about everybody. Yeah, because we've done, we did all the DLC. We've done every ninja in the game. Once again, apologizing to Tanya, Triborg, Melina, and Katana. I do, I do deeply apologize because they weren't grouped with the ninjas. Next time we meet up, it's it's going to be the last two we have to do. Scorpion and Sub Zero. I'm kind of said this 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 ending. I'm finally gonna get done with this, but I'm but fortunately I'm going back to redo the entire game sometime next. I mean sometime this year before Mortal Kombat 11 comes out because I really want to redo the entire thing. It's one of my favorite ones I've gone through, but at the same time though, it's old and I kinda want to redo it just because of the fact that the new game is on the horizon. I'm not doing that with Shovel Knight because I got more enough reasons to go back to that game as is. That plus I've already played it so many times. But anyway, next time we meet up, we're going to start going through this guy, the one, the only, Kwai Liang, not Bihan. Because remember, he is new Cybot, and this man is the one true Sub-Zero. This has been Zayred, everybody, and until next time.